Okay, are there any questions for Matthew? And down the front. Thank you, Danny and Matthew. I've learned so much in the last 40 minutes, probably more than I have for the rest of the whole year. It's been really interesting. Had a dull year. Um, sorry. <laughs> I was just going to, I didn't really understand what you're saying about Jamie Oliver comparing him to bon Bono and uh, how, because me, Jamie Oliver, uh, I was always inspired by 15 and Sugar and uh, the idea that there's too much sugar and he's campaigning to um, for sugar reduction and tax. But I didn't really understand how you... Com you you said that he probably wouldn't thank you for saying it, but I didn't really understand what you were trying to say about comparing it to Bono and everyone oh, it was, else. Oh, it was Bob Geldof. Bob Geldof, sorry. Yeah. So that was the first question. And, and then secondly, is there any conflict... Say you've got Mars as a client mm. and then you've got Jamie Oliver who campaigns mm. against sugar. How do you kind of keep both clients happy there? Um... Jamie and Mars have spent much time talking and arguing in some cases. The view that Jamie would take is that if he can persuade the, the largest sugar selling company on earth to listen to what he has to say and to look at reformulation, to look at sugar reduction, that he can influence that which will have more effect than almost anything else that he can do. So he, he like most activists, has become a pragmatist in in terms of moving off an absolute position of uh, of, uh, of of I mean Bono was articulate about it. In, in, he, did, he did a thing in the, the last tour where he talked about his his twenty year old self being with you know standing with a placard on one side of a barrier shouting at people, and he's now on the other side of the barrier with those people and breaking bread with them. And he recently got in a whole heap of shit for having a meeting with Mike Pence. People went, you know, how the fuck can you do that when you've been out and publicly condemned Trump and everything that he stands for? And his argument would be, well, they're in power. They're in government, so I have to talk to them because they're the ones that can influence the outcomes that I care about. So, so you know, Jamie will engage with, you know, Jamie would engage with a company that makes turkey twizzlers, I think with Bernard Matthews, if he thought he could get them to put less salt and less fat in them. Um, because ultimately he's interested in outcomes, not sort of postulating. It doesn't make you popular with hardcore activists because they see it as a sellout, but it does further the causes that you, you, you believe in. So, I, I, I mean, I think Jamie is becoming an increasingly skilled campaigner, both politically and commercially, at using what he does to, um, uh, to advance what has become this sort of lifelong commitment, lifelong commitment to, to nutrition.